Daybreak and this morning we are remembering a long ago channel to anchor man plus the Buffalo stallions and the launch of the British invasion. They all made news this very week in decades past and channel 2's Dave McKinley looks back to when those stories and more were all news to you. 10 years ago this week was when Governor Cuomo announced that a 19 member panel would be appointed and charged with assisting in the decision on where to build a new home for the bills. Turned out the so-called new stadium working group really didn't do any work. It only met once in secret, where it was later reported that members didn't do much more than introduce themselves to each other and it never met again. And an NFL prospect named Michael Sams became a household name, not so much for his prowess on the gridiron, but for announcing he was gay. Sams did get drafted by the Rams in the seventh round, but got caught and never played it down in the NFL after his coming out this week in 2014, 20 years ago this week. It's still a relatively new law. and It's going to take some time to bring that compliance up to the level that we see now with seatbelt enforcement, which has been in existence now for almost 20 years. He was talking about using a cell phone while driving and a study that showed that three years after New York had become the first state to make that illegal, the number of drivers holding phones while behind the wheels had actually increased. Back then, you could still try out to be a Buffalo Jill, and ladies vying to become the next Miss Buffalo practiced their routines under the watchful eye of a former wearer of the crown. And Buffalo's Ani DeFranco won her first and only Grammy, not for her music, but for having the best album cover, which she designed along with artist Brian Grunert here this week in 2004. 30 years ago this week, President Clinton proposed a federal budget of $1.5 trillion. The current budget under President Biden is $6.3 trillion. We here at Channel 2 had ourselves a new set and a new man to sit upon it. And although we plan to keep him here longer, his time here would be brief. This week's news to you, Pop Quiz. Do you remember who this is, who held down the anchor desk at 6 and 11 for what would only turn out to be a few months? Here's a hint. He had a more famous son. Remember, this was back when Schindler's List topped the list of movies nominated for Oscars and when the Hershey Company turned 100 years old this week in 1994. 40 years ago this week, when you might still see an ambulance rolling around that looked like this one, or use a slide projector or a film projector, or watch the Buffalo Stallions play indoor soccer down at the odd in what would be their final season, police officers were still being issued revolvers as service weapons. And if you stop to help one pick up after a traffic accident, they just might treat you to a barn burger at the once popular red barn that you can see in the background across the street. Hawaiian Air still flew out of the Niagara Falls airport, and the Playboy Club was still operating at the Executive Hotel in Chictawaga this week in 1984. Now, we don't usually look back this far, but we would be remiss if not to note that it was 60 years ago this week when we first heard the words. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. The British invasion was underway, led by the Fab Four, a quartet of mop tops from Liverpool who would set the music industry on its ear, and it would never be the same after this week in 1964, when it was all news to you. Okay, so the answer to this week's news to you pop quiz, we asked if you remembered the name of this Channel 2 anchorman who joined us 30 years ago, didn't stick along very long though. Yeah, that's Nick Clooney. The dad of George Clooney. Nick left Buffalo after only five months, though, when he accepted a job on cable as a host of American Movie Classics in May of 1994. And by the way, he, Nick Clooney just celebrated his 90th birthday last month. That is really, in his sister's Rosemary Clooney. Right. And then son, that's crazy. Yeah, I just love those Buffalo connections. That is cool. So yeah. he was supposed to be here for a longer stint, but mm -hmm. five months. You're right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That's still cool. It really is. There are some really incredible people who have graced this anchor desk here. <laughs> From, and John Beard. Hey, and John. John Beard. Hey, John, if he's watching, he's I still know. in town. Hello, my we friend. We love you. All right, let's take a look and show you the uh,